Um, all right. Um, oh, thank you, Naturalist, for the 100 uh, bits. Uh, so this is gonna, what the next one is going to be. Um, this game has a little tiny bit of plot. So we can look at the, the, uh, the debug here. To perceive is to take in. The pattern of light becomes the pattern on your retina, becomes the blah in your brain. Seeing something takes it inside of you. Uh, our uncle clearly went insane uh, with, with all of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, do the rest of this. Um, I have a ad break that is auto starting and I can't stop it anymore. Um, but, uh, we will maybe take a look at this after the ad break is done. And then if my brain is too fried, then we might have to, we might have to end the stream. So, uh, sorry about the ad break auto starting right now. I'm going to take the, uh, uh, the moment for this to, um, grab a really quick snack. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. Sorry about that break. Twitch, Twitch has that thing about advertisements that they need to do. They need to do to keep off, um, pre rolls. So we set that up. Okay. So, um, the sus one, we already saw this, right? This is, um, yeah, our, our dear old uncle going crazy. So we can take a look at this and we'll see, we'll see how far we have to go. Um, uh, Albert, if you're still here, uh, you've, um, you've helped out so much. Um, can you, uh, in that, that, uh, thread we created for the stream in the discord channel, can you, um, send either send me or do a private message, your, uh, your steam, uh, name if you have one and then I'll, um, Cause I I'd be happy to to get get the game for you because it's not that expensive and it's about the same as like gifting you a stub. So uh, if you want to play it and you you want to buy it, I'll be happy to get it for you because you've been helping me out. You've been helping me out a lot. So uh, all right, let's take a look at this and we'll see whether or not we can uh, we can continue with it or if we need to bring the stream to an end. Read values from in dot a and in dot b. Divide in dot a by in dot b. That that's not too hard. Why write the quotient to out dot q? Write the remainder to out dot r. I need to remember how dividing works. Um, quotient is the actual number that it divided by, right? Or is the result? And then remainder is how much is left after that. So if we have 47, okay, so A and B, so divide A by B, so three times, three times 10 is 30, three times, uh, let's see, so 3 times 15 is what, 30, 45? That, yeah, that's 40, okay, so 45, so it goes into 3 times, and then we want the R, which is, okay, so then the R uh, is 2, so that's, yeah, okay, 45 divided, minus 2 is, okay, 47 minus 45. This, that's what I want to get. All right. Thanks, Albert. I see that. Um, I'll do that right after stream. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is. How do, I, how do I want to get this? How do I want to do this one? We want to have a loop where I take the three. Oh, I, okay, so taking the three and subtracting it by this many times, and then seeing, subtracting if and seeing if it's less than zero, that doesn't seem too hard. Sometimes it feels like the stack memory nodes are just here to block and make it harder. <laughs> that doesn't seem great. Um, so the quotient would be 15. So if I take, Oh, 
I don't want to do like the division out here and because I need the R. If I do the division here. I could throw into the stack, but it's going to have more than 21. So I can't just do add that. Oh, Juice, you redeemed Quack. Uh, let's see. We have a Quack up here somewhere. Do I have Quack? I have that Quack. Yeah. And then how do I forget how to how to manipulate it? Oh, interact. That's what it is. That's our quack. I want to sometime figure out how to automate that. Um, Chad, hello. How are you doing today? Um, okay, so I need to reduce. I need to continuously subtract 47 from 3 and then count how many times I did that. So let's say... Okay, so I keep the 47 in here. I want to now subtract what we have on the left. So if I sub right, so we move 47 into here, I sub right, so that's 3, right? So that becomes 40, 44. Oh, Chad, you uh, redeemed Pet the Cat. Um, we can do that. Oh, I forgot that I even have this uh, camera still active. Uh, Zilly's not even on on there, so he's on my chair. I'll uh, put that down, and I should probably turn off the cat cam because he is not here. Can't be bothered for pets, Dad. He does. He's a he's a tired boy right now. All right. Um, okay, so if I sub right. Now that becomes 44, right? So if we just run this, we get we get 44. That's great, right? Perfect. I need to repeat that until I'm below zero. So we move up to ACC, but now I want to do my loop. Uh, I want to sub right now, which means I need this to be infinite loop here. Uh, so we're just going to say move up to ACC. We have our own loop. Move ACC left. I know there's no way to get out of this, and that's going to be fine. We're, we're not going to worry too much about it. So we get through here, and oh, I need to uh, jump back into the loop. Jump back into the loop. 
So there's no way out now. Okay, so this continuously um, goes down. So that's great. So now I have two. So after each time, I need to test to see what we have, which means I need the count of how many we've done. So what I could do is I could add you. We could, um, I could add the the number one. Okay, so if we if we subwrite um, before we jump the loop, I want to now test to see are you less than um, Albert? You're going to head into bed. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, have a great rest of your Wednesday. Uh, I want to jump if less than zero. If we're less than zero, we're done. We want to, to break out of the loop. And so we're going to end. However, if we're not out of the loop here, that means we still have one more. So we're going to, uh, we're going to swap and we're going to add one to increase our count of how many that we have. Um, and then we want to swap again to bring it, to switch it back. And then once we're done, we can, swap, move ACC down, move ACC down. So this should give us, this should give us the 15, right? Oh, I did that wrong. I need to move up to ACC first. Okay, so going through, we got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, we swap to give us that. We have our 15. That comes down here. We move that down. And our 15 is correct. Now we have this negative one here. And that's really interesting, right? Because if we swap, move this down, swap again, uh, we add right. Uh, and then we move ACC down. Um, now this is the quotient that we have, right? So we moved a up ACC, uh, we move ACC down, and then I wanna move up right, and then move left down. So if we do that, oh, we're not resetting properly, I don't think. So, uh, oh, well, and this is infinite loop, so we're we're closer, but it's not that great. Um, okay, so when I end, it then comes back up to move up ACC. I want to move up ACC, and then I need to save. I'm just assuming add one here, so I need to... I, I basically need to move zero ACC and then save. And then we move up. Okay, so that should reset for you. Um, it's still gonna be the wrong numbers because this is always three, right? So I need some way to tell this to now to move to move over. So what if I, after we're ending, we move ACC down, I need to, uh, 
I only have one thing here. I can't add two lines of instruction. If if at the very end Okay, so what if instead of we move upright instead of move instead of doing this recalculation where we swap back again so we swap uh ACC down so what if instead at the end of every loop before we jump um Okay, so JLZ and Okay, so if you're less than zero end on to sub right, what if I uh move ACC right to put this back here? If you're positive, then okay, then you can move. Okay, so then you're gonna be able to add. So then I don't need to move the ACC. I don't need to do that again. We just need to swap back and then do this over again. Um, this is still correct for the first one, right? Oh, no. Uh, we need to handle this now. Okay. So I move up to ACC. I'm doing this infinite loop. And then, OK, so I, I move the ACC left. And then I'm going to get back the, um, not the remainder, like the total. So like I'm going to move, we need to swap, move left. No, I need to save. We need to save what we have. I need to um I need to move left the ACC So I have the I have our number in here. I have the new number said to be like 45, 44 or whatever. And then if you're less than, okay, so if you're less than zero, we end. Otherwise, go back and do this again, which means that, uh, yes, I know. If we're going back into the loop here, I do want to swap to make sure that we have the original number back. If we're end, then... I want to take this new number and move it to the right. So let's move ACC right. I want to swap. So no, we want to add uh, right. And then we want to move ACC down. And so this is going to move up down. And then we go back up to here. So does that work? I mean, so far it's working. Let's uh, let's see how it's doing. Let's see if it gets through this entire page. It's a lot of instructions that's going on. I mean, so far that's looking good. Let's go to fast forward. 
Yes, we did it. Um, all right. Uh, two, two more. <laughs>